Well, the Macon Reentry Coalition needs your help tonight to continue giving previously incarcerated people a second chance. 41 NBC's Elizabeth Gutierrez tells us how you can help. My past doesn't define who I am today either. You know, I'm waiting on the Lord and I'm not going to let the weight of the world hold me down. Just like these men, Frankie Tripp was also looking for a second chance at life. I got into drugs when I was a teenager, of course. Uh, and then I got in trouble with the law, of course, and uh, uh, I knew that I needed help. Two years ago, Frankie started his journey to recovery with the help of the Macon Reentry Coalition. It's a program made up of several Macon Bib organizations that help address the need of individuals who were previously incarcerated. And thanks to the community, he was able to turn his life around, becoming a handyman. I tell you, I get a lot of business. I also work for myself. Uh, I get a lot of business from the community, from church, and actually I got some work from a guy that just walked up one day. CEO of the Macon Reentry Coalition, Todd Robinson, says volunteers are a big part of the program. Most likely what you would be helping with is whatever resource you can bring to the table. And it might be your church, and it might be your nonprofit, or it might be somebody you're involved with, or it might be that you just donate clothes to the program or shoes. The program works closely with the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Middle District of Georgia. Peter Leary, a U.S. Attorney for the District, says this program is aimed at reducing crime in Middle Georgia, but they can't do it alone. Prosecution is an important tool, but it's not going to be the entire success story. Uh, we have to give folks the tools to re-enter into society to be successful, and we want them to be successful. In Macon, Elizabeth Gutierrez, 41 NBC News. The program is looking for volunteers from various sectors like business, health care, and faith-based. You can attend the first in-person volunteer meeting since the pandemic on September 28th. And if you would like to volunteer, you can find a link on our website, 41NBC.com.